Welcome to Electron Online. Now let's take a look at the tricks we can use when we multiply times 5 or times 50 or times 500. The example we can show you here when we multiply times 5, what you can do is you can first divide the number by 2 and then multiply times 10. Now multiplying times 10 is like adding a 0 to the number. So when you have 46 times 5, first takes 46 and divide by 2. When divide by 2 we get 23 then add a zero because multiplying times 10 is like adding a zero. The answer is 230. When the number is 50, then we just have to add one more zero. For example, 124 divided by 50, we first divide 124 by, by 2. 124 divided by 2 is 62. And now we multiply times 100 twice 50. That's like adding two zeros. You get 6,200. Or the number 36 times 500 Take 36 and divide by 2, half of 36, that is 18. And now you multiply times 1,000, which is twice 500. Now multiply times 1,000, same as adding three zeros, the answer is 18,000. So that's how you very quickly can multiply a number by 5, by 50, or by 500. Let's try some other examples. Let's say the number, how about 32 times 5. So I take 32 and divide by 2, half of 32 is 16, and then add one more zero because now I'm multiplying times 10, and I get 160. How about this one here? Let's try uh, 48 times 50. Well, first what I do is I divide 48 by 2, half of 48 is 24, and then I multiply times twice what 50 is, which is 100, multiply times 100 is like adding two zeros, and you get 2,400. About this number, 56 times 500. Now, that seems like a difficult thing to do, but again, take half of 56, which is 28. 28 times 2 is 56. And then I multiply times 1,000 instead of times 500, twice 500. Multiplying times 1,000 is like adding three zeros. And notice how quickly we can take 56 and multiply it times 500. And that's how we do it. Divide the number by 2 and add either 1, 2, or 3 zeros, depending upon if you're multiplying times 5, times 50, or times 500. And that's how we do that.